it's my pleasure today to host uh, Dr. Michael Perlman. He has directed the its human sexuality program founded by Ellen Kaplan for over 20 oh, yeah. years. And what became That's very, very evident to us was this notion of desire and what constituted desire that somebody may have the capacity for sex, but if they're very angry at each other for some other reason, even if they're young and they're able to have sex, despite my tipping point model about how the mind can interfere, if the body is that willing, you can go ahead and function anyway, and yet they didn't want to. And then that would create other tensions, another vicious cycle, and all of a sudden they'd be in our office asking for yeah. assistance. You yeah, were sure. mentioning uh, uh, working with Ellen Kaplan uh, yeah. as a student and as a collaborator. And as we have not been lucky to have met her, could you share with us a few words about her? How would you describe her as a person, as a professional? This will be valuable for us. In the lecture. I mean, how uh, you know, she had scribbled out on a napkin, this little uh, insiders, exciters, inhibitors, sort of concept of a, of a dual model. We were having a drink together. And obviously that became something that more and more fascinated me. Of all the billions of possible things out there, where does one begin? How does one start? So for me, identifying what are the maintaining variables, factors, if you will, and having a sense of what's contributing, what's not, what's overbalanced, how do you recalibrate that? It gives a simple idea that you can explain to your patients, but also has sufficient uh, robust vigor as a theory. Which, which able... sexual dysfunction, in your opinion, is mostly mistreated by sexologists, is treated in a wrong way in, in, in a say? Uh, well, I, I would certainly say that uh, desire is complex, but I think there's so much conversation about that. Mm -hmm. I've uh, become an advocate, obviously, in the last decade for encouraging us to take a look at delayed ejaculation and recognizing that um, difficulty with orgasm is not just a problem of, of uh, women. Uh, we, know, I can slow uh, down a little bit with uh, explanations and uh, explore more in deep their psychological issue. But what is your approach? I think what you just articulated is perfect. You're meeting people where they are and then you're gradually shifting them to be able to explore and understand something in a non-threatening way. Premature yeah. ejaculation, for instance, could be highly uh, predetermined uh, by a number of bio, uh, biological uh, organic factors. So that pre, that, but that doesn't mean that everybody who had all those factors in place genetically turned out to be a premature ejaculator because of different life experience. And how that yeah. translates into a particular individual is exceedingly complex. And yet you would do it even if it wasn't work because you'd like to do it. Um, I, I think it's so important. And you're likely to find success with that if you're doing what you want to be doing and doing it with um, concentration, effort, integrity, and, and focus. It, it makes a difference and it, it leads to a good life. Mm -hmm.